Miss Water, welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. Yes. Welcome to SNMs. Hell yeah. We back. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around. Good energy, good content. Here we go. All right. Okay. So, my lovely wife, what do we have today, babe? What All we right, got? Babe, today we'll be reacting to Governor DeSantis fires back at Kamala Harris. Uh oh. It's not about you. Uh oh. All right. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. Now, is this um about the hurricane? I guess it is. Yes. Okay. So let's see what the governor got to say about Kamala. All right. So guys, before we get into it, smash that like button, get this video a big fat thumbs up, and also get inside the comment section. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Well, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Come on over. I'm ready to get into it. I got my right. headphones let's on my head. Go. I'm ready to go. Here we go, babe. Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, hearing all that and probably knew it already, joins us live from the emergency management headquarters in Tallahassee. Uh, Governor, you've been there quite often. What's the greatest challenge with Milton as opposed to Helene or others you've had to deal with over the last seven years? Mm. Well, I think as Janice mentioned, uh, you know, this is tracking very close to that Tampa Bay area. I would note that anyone on the western peninsula of Florida, uh, just wherever that eye wall is scheduled to go across now on these cones, that can shift. I think right now they have it just south of Tampa Bay in Manatee County. Uh, it could shift further north and it could shift further south uh, in terms of having the most immediate impacts. Uh, but uh, that Tampa Bay area is very low lying. Pinellas County, where I grew up, is surrounded by water. It's a peninsula. Uh, it is just vulnerable to storm surge generally. Uh, this is a storm that's going to be hitting sometime Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. The water is already going to be high with the tide. Uh, so, so that's a huge, huge concern. Now, it had gotten up to 180 mile an hour when it was going towards the Yucatan Peninsula in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, that is an incredibly powerful storm. It has weakened since then. It may strengthen today. The forecasts are that it will make landfall weaker than it is today. Let's pray that that's the case. Um, the surge is going to be a big enough problem, uh, and hopefully uh, uh, the winds are manageable. Most of the buildings in Florida are going to be able to handle a Category 3 storm. So there's a lot going on. And, oh, by the way, we just had a Category 4 storm uh, impact a lot of people uh, up, up the west coast of Florida. Uh, one of the issues that we saw in places like the Pinellas County beaches and Manatee County beaches was there was a lot of debris. And these local governments have to pick it up. They have contractors that do it. But it wasn't being done fast enough. Uh, so I did this weekend. I took all of our state agencies, any truck we had anywhere in the state who's involved in normal missions, uh, we diverted it over to those barrier islands. We're doing a 24-7 debris mission. So we've okay. been able in 48 cool. hours with our state assets be able to do as much debris removal um, as any of the contractors who've been doing this for almost two weeks. Wow. Uh, we actually had to pry open one of the landfills in Pinellas County because it wasn't operating 24-7 as my executive of order did but we've made a big dent in that and the issue is wow. is if you have this debris laying out it could become projectiles right. yeah. and then with the storm surge it creates more damage yeah. so it's very difficult we're going to get hit basically two weeks on the dot from getting hit by helene uh but we felt it was important that we did wow. that we also have now Great close job, to forty thousand utility linemen in the state of Florida or in route. And remember, there's a lot of these workers that are still in Georgia and North Carolina and sure. those places. We've had to bring them in all the way from California. So they're gonna be ready to do the power you restoration are... mission. And then we'll have 8,000 Florida National mm -hmm. Guard uh, when the storm hits, uh, all our urban search and rescue, our Florida State Guard, fish and wildlife, all that will be there ready to go so we're prepared for this okay. this is not easy i think it's been very taxing on our citizens to have to go through this just as you're starting to pick up the pieces from helene now right. you see another monster storm bearing down uh oh. but we'll get through this i think the important thing today is you still have time to execute your plan you do not have to get on the interstate and drive hundreds of miles there are shelters open all throughout the state of Florida. In your county, there's shelters mm. that are in higher ground and that are hurricane proof. Uh, so if you don't wanna get on the interstate, you don't have to. Uh, and there's a okay. wide variety of options. So if you are in one of those storm pro sur surge prone areas, uh, take action now. We have all day today. Uh, as we get into tomorrow, you're gonna start seeing effects most likely in, in Wednesday right. afternoon. 
And in, in fact, uh, Governor, I, I was down in Florida yesterday, yesterday, and I know that a lot of the stores are running out of water. The gas stations are running low on gas. A lot of people who were impacted by Helene actually lost their cars. And so uh, there are lines out, out the door at car rental places for people trying to get out. Uh, and, and as well, you've got your emergency services people, and the cops are going door to door in these A zone evacuation areas. Uh, saying you've got to get out because once this storm hits, you guys are not going to be able to go and save them. They've got to save themselves by getting out now, right? Yeah, and so on the transportation, because you raise a good point, uh, the counties are providing uh, transportation for folks that don't have it. And then the state has entered into an agreement with Uber. Uh, so if you need a ride to a shelter, uh, you can go on Uber, um, you know, there's a, there's awesome. a code for Milton Relief. Uh, and so take advantage of that, absolutely, I um, mean, you should do that. But yes, you, you run from the water and you hide from the wind. You know, if we end up with a Category 3 storm, most of the places in Florida, particularly with our building codes, if you hunker down, in and of itself, you'll probably be okay. But the water, you just can't contend with Mother Nature. If you have yeah. 10 feet of that surging in, it is incredibly destructive it is not something yes, that, that you want to mess with uh, so there are options for you you have time uh, to be able to do it um, and make sure that you are safe in your family and oh by the way the pets too all the yeah. all counties and Got shelters it. you can bring they have at least one pet friendly shelter we've actually evacuated wow. some of the the pet shelters uh where you know you've had abandoned pets we've moved them to safer shelters in other parts of the state so there's contingencies for all this stuff we, 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 we're going to have damage. You, uh, you, people are going to lose homes, Governor, we're going to have businesses, we're going to have destruction mm -hmm. of infrastructure, but uh, yeah. we can fix all that. You got can't fix it if you decide you, to stay in 10 feet of storm right, surge yeah. and you die. You're you've right. you've oh, mastered definitely. the process there. Everybody gives you credit for it because, you know, you guys do such a great job with handling this. But we're learning that FEMA now is reporting that there's a severe shortage of disaster workers. Um, this is also coming with, they're saying they're gonna need more money. They may, not, they may run out of money in November. So what are your thoughts on that? And are, do you guys, are you guys set in Florida to be able to cover your people, even if FEMA won't have the money? Well, well, we have what we need right now. And so FEMA, we work with them, some of the urban search and rescue. A lot of those people are in Florida anyways, but we're also bringing them in from around the country. We're also working with DOD to supplement uh, the fuel mission. So, so we have all our requests have been honored pre-storm and we anticipate after the storm. I don't know what Congress is going to have to do going forward, uh, but I will want because Steve also raised a good point about the fuel. So the fuel situation is in Florida. Uh, it's not a supply issue, it's a distribution issue because it, the, the stations are running through it faster than they normally do. We have Florida Highway Patrol escorting these fuel trucks into the gas stations. Uh, right. We have um, a billion and a half yeah. gallons uh, that are either in Florida or in route in reserve. Our port of Tampa is still open. It's still going to be receiving fuel. So right. I think it's more of just when they run out, you got to replenish it. Uh, but we have stocked uh, spare fuel in the state of Florida, and we'll continue mm. to do that uh, leading up to the storm. And we anticipate you could have some major interruptions at the Port of Tampa, which is one of the places where we get a lot of our fuel from. Um, and so we will work around that as, as needed. Governor, uh, I know Kamala Harris called you selfish. She, she said she's tried to contact you uh, to talk to you about hurricane relief. And uh, I know that you said she, I think you said she didn't try to contact you. We want to get your response, but first listen to what she said. Well, we don't have the sound, but she said, you know, moment of crisis, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone calls himself a leader, says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now and playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations. There are these are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it's selfish and it's about political gamemanship. What's your response? Well, I think she should look in the mirror. We've been on an emergency footing uh, for two weeks straight, round the clock, 24-7. Uh, we've been working, my office, our Division of Emergency Management, helping people prepare for Hurricane Helene, helping effectuate rescues of people after Hurricane Helene, helping people pick up the pieces of their lives after Helene and then have to also turn around 
and prepare for major impacts and maybe even more impacts uh, from Hurricane Milton, be able to have rescue personnel ready to help people, and then, of course, help with the power restoration, all these things to do. So that's been my sole focus. Uh, my focus has not been on dealing with, with Kamala Harris. Um, I, did, I saw the news report. I didn't know she tried to contact me. But I'd also say it's not about you, Kamala. Right. It's about the people of Florida. My focus is exactly where it should be. And I can tell yeah. you this. I've worked with, on these hurricanes under both President Trump and President Biden. Neither of them ever tried to politicize it. She has never called on any of the storms we've had since she's been vice president until apparently now. Why all of a sudden is she trying to parachute in and inject herself when she's wow. never shown any interest in the past? We know it's because of politics. We know it's because of her campaign. I have zero time uh, to entertain these political games. We're going to continue to do what we need to do to prepare and respond wow. to what may be one of the most damaging storms in the history of the United States. So she says focusing wow. on protecting your people is selfish. I think she ought to look in the mirror. Mm. And right wow. now, Governor, just to conclude, you have what you need from the federal government as well as you feel like you have the resources in place. Is that correct? We, every request we've made and I've been in okay. contact with the president. I've been in contact with the FEMA director. You know, it's interesting. Harris is not even in the chain of command. Yeah, what she is has she even no doing? role in this. I mean, the idea that I should be, like, worrying about her when I'm focused on the task at hand is exactly. just, quite frankly, uh, absurd. So, yes, all of our She'll requests have been answered. Um, we have marshaled all state resources uh, that are available to us. It's going to be a very robust response, but it's going to be a lot of damage. And we're right. bracing for that. I'd ask everyone to keep us in your prayers. Uh, we know right. we're going to get hit, but hopefully we can pray that this storm will weaken right. and do the least amount of damage possible. All right, Absolutely. Well, Great job out soon. there. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, wow. so. Really miss Kamala Harris. It sounds like, you know, he had it under control. And, you know, for them to bounce back from Eileen and then get hit with Milton, that's a hard task for a governor well, because he got a lot going on, Helene. Yes. Yes. And he, like he said, they were two weeks yeah. apart. And she has never tried to reach out before, so why now? Why, why, why when you are running for president, why now? Because it's and close to you're time. out of the chain of command. Like, yeah. that is not your job to reach out to, you know, and then try to put that out publicly. Yeah, like, like it's the to governor's fault. Guy. Like he isn't, you know, like he's, he's being selfish, and trying to make him look bad as a governor. That's not cool. Just to, you know, the boost make up your, some votes. Yes. Whatever make she's it trying seem to like do. you're trying to be hands on and help yeah. the people of Florida. That isn't right. I think that he read her. Most he read her. She said, you know, <laughs> you need you need to look in the mirror. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's doing a good job. I think he answered all of the questions well. And I think he's running this state um, the best way that he can. I think he's doing an amazing job, you know, phenomenal job. You say the guy's healthy. He you know, isn't for up. the BS. He's I mean, not. he's trying to save lives here. He's trying to rebuild his community. Yeah. You know. I mean, he just got that look on his face like, you know, I got this under control. He isn't for it. Like, and this is a, a real situation. And like you said, she's bringing politics. Why here. bring the BS like that? When they're going through a hard time like that. He said this is one of the, you know, most horrifying hurricanes of all the United States, yeah. Of the United States. History. So um definitely it praying for Florida. A lot of damage. Definitely praying for Florida. People Hope that they bounce have back. Died, yeah. You know, lost their home. Right. And she's trying to get in on this to make her campaign look better. That's not cool. That's not cool. She's going to lose votes like that. Wow. Um, but you can make this stuff up, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is in plain sight. Like, you know, and people will be saying, like, oh, why you got to spread lies? This is facts right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow. I just don't know about Kamala. I don't know about Kamala either. Kamala, can I can only not pronounce her name some of the times, but I just don't know about She just give me a... She she don't give me a um, genuine a secure feeling like yeah, you know, it seems like, like games are being games played. being ran. It's like you know um, I'm black, so let me get my black people to vote for me. 
and let me, you know, um, zoom in on Florida and let me just start some something, you know, to make my name bigger. Let me get in where I fit in. Yeah, let me just get in, just stir make some things up. Make other people look bad, yeah. lie on other people so you know, that, you know. But where was the help? So my campaign can if look she's better, the vice president up for me. Why didn't she send help to the Florida people, to the Florida government? That isn't in her chain of command. Wow. Only the president can do that. There it is. Wow. Um, tough. That's so, that's just so tough. It's so tough. Um, we want to thank the person that sent us this video. They dropped the link. We definitely appreciate it. Um, we thank you guys for watching. Send prayers to Florida. Send a definite send in prayers to Florida. And to all the other states that have been hit yeah. by these two hurricanes, by Hurricane Helene and Hurricane yes. Milton. And we prayers just pray that they have a speedy guys. recovery because, um, you yeah. know, it's tough with all that water and stuff. Prayers to all Tampa, of Tampa got hit, you know, pretty hard. So praying for you guys down there. May God continue to bless y'all. Um, we want to thank you guys for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, if you guys have any more videos that you want us to react to, please drop them in the link. Drop, them, drop the link inside the comment section. I mean. Yeah. And we thank you guys. All right? Thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys have an amazing day. Do it on purpose. On purpose. Do it on purpose, guys. We all right. Peace. Nice.